Tracy. How's my dad doing? Has he come round yet? Oh, OK. Well, if anything changes, can you let me know? Cheers, bye. So go on, what's your answer, then? Oh, that was quick. Go oh, on, David. Hello? What? Oh, you haven't sent me any message. Well, you've missed it now, haven't you? Eh? on Belle? Nothing. Oh, I'm sure she'll turn up. But where? Anyone won't stay. In other news, we've got a bit of an April crisis. <laughs> the summer school, they're having another dress-up day. April loves dressing. Yeah, I know, but she's refusing to join in because they've just got a box of old hats and scarves. You know, she wants to showcase her own costume. Them group leaders need to stop letting her tell them what's what. Yeah, well, I think they're scared of her. Feel free to put your foot down. I can't do that. You know, I'm trying to impress a dad. Plus, I'm hoping for a play date myself tonight. <laughs> no way, you two. Nice one, Marlon. The thing is, um, tonight, I might have to work. Oh, since when? Um... I've... I've had on something wrong. No, no, of course not. It's... Last night, uh, I think, I think your dad warned me off. Don't start listening to him. Well, I don't know why he's getting so wound up. I mean, my track record, it probably won't work out anyway. You don't need to be so defeatist. I mean, it's only a day. I mean, why make a big song and dance about it? Yeah. I mean, it's not like I'm anything special, is it? Who's for a second coffee? Second? Actually, third. Is all this caffeine good for you? Cappuccino, please, Brenda. Uh, there's a king. Have you made your mind up, then? Well, I've narrowed it down between the banana muffin and the oatmeal flapjack. But... Meanwhile, you already know what I want. <sighs> Fine, push in if it makes you feel better. Hello? Hi. Are you ready for me? I can bring your coffee over. I'm happy to wait. Uh, no, no, nothing I can't drop. OK. OK, thanks, Alex. I'm on my way. The muffin's fresher, to be honest. I can't stop now, anyway. Sorry. Did you hear that? What? Tracy on the phone. Who to? Someone called Alex. She can't wait to see him. What? You think she's cheating on David? This is why she's been trying to get you out of your house. She's afraid you'll suss her for what she is, a two-timing gold digger. Thank you. Donald says the mill contract will be ready to sign tomorrow. Well, it's far too soon. Can't you put him off? Why would we want to do that? Are you sure this is a good idea? Well, we've made the deal now. The deal was that Rakesh would help get Andy sent down. Instead, he's fled the country. Chrissy, Rakesh is not our enemy. Oh, maybe not yours. Why are you so against him? I just... I just... I don't know how much I can trust him. Which is precisely why we need to keep him on board. He knows things. Our first priority is protecting Lachlan. OK. You're right. Hey, why has Kane been so nasty to Charity? He was only doing what Belle asked. Well, to be honest with you, she's got off lightly. Has she? Yeah, with our lot, you step out of line once too often, you get kicked out. And for good? Yeah, for good. So you better start behaving yourself, because the way you're going, you're going to end up on the streets by Christmas. Yes, Adam. I'll be there soon. Right, bye. Right, I've got to go. Be good, or else. Who is this Maggie? How should I know? I only got the message 30 minutes ago. What the heck did you message her back? Stop asking stupid questions. Why are you being such a knack, Nick? Uh, <laughs> I think I might have scared Carly off, OK? I'm such an idiot. We've not even had a proper first date yet. Eh? You and Carly? Get that quiet. Yeah, well, you know, with Belle and everything, it didn't seem right blowing my own trumpet. Anyway, what does it matter now? Oh. Yeah, no matter now. It wouldn't have lasted, would it? Why not? Well, Carly, she's, like, really good-looking and that. I've had loads of good-looking women. You've never kept any of them, though, have you? Ronnie. 
dumped you for Paddy. Well, technically, he came later. But, uh, Donna had it away with Paddy's cousin. That weren't later. That were round your nose. Well, I'm only saying. Um. Oh, you better not be watching porn. It's none of your business if we are. Well, it is if you're doing it in my pub. Oi. What is going on? It's private. Yeah, it doesn't need you interfering. Excuse me, spare your penis. Do you know where Bell is? No, he can't find me back. I'll hold. Oi. You need to get yourself a life. No problem, sweetheart. Don't sweetheart me. What have you been saying to Marlon? Oh, well, I was just looking out for you. Well, the last time you tried to do that, I ended up doing a runner from the church and thousands of pounds in debt. Yeah, which you agreed was for the best. Sunil wasn't right for you. Sunil is not Marlon. Yeah, he's also not the father of my granddaughter. So the fact that I love April to bits is enough reason to warn Marlon off me, is it? You're practically related. His ex was my stepsister. You're going to go across to the pub right now and tell him you were being a prat. <sighs> I don't think I was. Who cares what he thinks anyway? I do. I think Marlon's getting cold feet. There you go, then. It's because of you. Because you mess with his head. You know how neurotic he gets? Another point against him, wouldn't you say? Look, I only want what's best for you. No, Dad. You want what suits you, as usual. Yes, I'm still here. I know you've been patient, and I really appreciate that, but I just need a little longer. I'll get it sorted. You have my word. Problem? No, uh, just making uh, final arrangements with Chrissy. Full steam ahead, then? Absolutely. You're wasting your time. I've already sent messages. She isn't replying. Maybe it's a wind-up. And maybe it's someone who genuinely knows where Belle is. I think we need to follow this up. Wait, hang on. Where do you come in? Have you seen where it's sent from? Come on, I know that part of town. Oh. Because, Sammy, I haven't always been the pillar of community that I am today. It's the red light district. Ugh. I've still got some contacts, so I'll see what I can find out. We shouldn't even be talking to you. Kane will sort it. Oh, what, him? No, he'll just go in guns blazing and scare everyone off. No, I know these kinds of people. What kind of people? They won't hurt them, will we they? We need to call the police. Oh, we're not going to talk to them, are they? They might talk to me. You've done enough damage. Yeah, but I now want the chance to put things right, thank you. You should just tell me, darling, they say. What are we going to tell them? Might even be a false lead. No, let's not raise the hopes until I know what's what. But will you mind the bar till Chas gets back? Hang on. Oh, come on, Marlon. We know that I'm the best person to trap Belle down. Do you think we could trust it? Judging by recent experience, hardly. Come on. <laughs> If he gets hungry, he really likes cheesy breadsticks dipped in chocolate spread. But please, please make sure she gives him a banana first. Vanessa, relax. Poe looks after Leo all the time. She knows what she's doing. She got locked in a cupboard by April. April's a law unto herself. It'll be fine. Who is this? Alex bloke. He's probably a sugar daddy, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose you're right. I should uh, have another word with David. <laughs> of course I should have another word with David. I'm his best mate. It is my duty. Uh, Vanessa? I think she's got more important things to worry about. Oh, sorry. I don't even know why I'm bothering seeing him again. Cos if you don't, then you might regret it. With him, whatever I do ends in regret. It's a feckless cheat and good for nothing. <laughs> yeah, but he's still your dad, isn't he? <laughs> do you want me to come with you? No. I'm only going to see if he's OK and, and that he's being looked after properly. I won't be staying long. Right, you. Bye-bye. Be good. Bye-bye, mm. Mummy. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Hi. Hey, cheese and pickle. I thought you might be over. <sighs> you should be at home resting, not chasing round after me. I oh, like chasing round after you. Besides, you're the one who's got me through all this chemo. Has he come round? Any time now, they reckon. I'd best get back to him. Is he really worth bothering about? You're the one who encouraged me to see him. Yeah, I know, but the more I hear about him, the more I think that... Yeah, maybe he's not perfect, but... neither was my mum when she was around. Selfish cow. <laughs> uh, what do his parents say? Well, I'll tell Eric that, shall I? Do you know what? You're right. The only reason I hunted down my dad was to get revenge on what I'd done to my mum. 
And then when I met him, it wasn't that bad. It changed. So, what are you saying? I'm saying that if it means that much to you, well, everyone deserves a final chance. Even Frank. He can move in with us. Yeah, but he's on a warning. I'll make sure he knows that. Thank you. And what about Layla? Ah, uh, well, I'll have a word with her. Vanessa's got a spare room now, haven't she? Mm, yeah. They're welcome to each other. No, forget about them. Just concentrate on your daddy. I love you. Mm, you better. <laughs> What does he want? Who? Hi, can I help you? DS Mud. I was hoping Mr. Katecha could do that. I need to speak to you about Andy Sugden. I've already told your colleagues everything I know. Are you sure about that? You were with him when he absconded. Well, what are you suggesting? Priya, it's fine. I've got nothing to hide. Well, let's see if that's true. I've got some CCTV footage of Mr. Sugden escaping from the court that. I'd like you to take a look at. All these weirdos. Not weird, Sam, just unfortunate. All from all for you, of course. I didn't ask you to come with me. Hey, well, she's my sister, not yours. So are we arguing the toss or are we looking for Belle? Right, listen, I think we should split up, hand out the flyers. Can be with them, lads? Sorry. Ask around, yeah? And if you hear anything, you just call me. Done. I think you've pulled. Have I? should eat you for breakfast, Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I think you two better just wait in the calf. I? No, we want to find Belle. What's the matter, like 12-year-olds, then? I'm a man of the world, thank you. All right? Hello. Not really, no. No, I've upset my girlfriend. Already? That's if she's still my girlfriend. I blame my dad. No, I don't. I don't blame my dad. I blame myself. I mean, she's fit, yeah, but she's, she's, she's funny and she's amazing. And like an idiot, I own my big stupid mouth and I might erect every, everything. Do we want to find Bella not? Yeah, of course. Well, be useful then. What's going on here? I'm consoling my client. You glance at the camera. Why? <laughs> I'm not sure what you're trying to imply. You're turning your back. You're saying something. Something that you wouldn't want a lip reader to interpret, perhaps. He assaulted him. You can see that clear as day. You're impeding the guard, stopping him from going after Mr. Sugden. He injured my shoulder. This is absurd. Is it? I already told you. I was cautioning my client to stay calm and not do anything stupid. And as you can see, he didn't take my advice. Doing here? He had some CCTV footage of Andy escaping from the court that he wanted Rakesh to look at. Why? Good question. He doesn't know anything. Oh, he knows plenty. How do you mean? Andy's about to be sent down, and then, hey presto, he manages to do a wrong one. What are you saying? I know my husband, right? He'd never do anything like that. When he's free, can you tell him that we need to discuss the house sale? just needed a tenner to get into the hostel. Please don't tell me you have spent your time giving money to the homeless. <sighs> yeah, sauce. <sighs> Face it, we're getting nowhere. I found her. What? Maggie, I got an address. How'd you get that? Never mind that. Brilliant. Well done. All right, well, I'll take it from here. I don't think so. Yeah, we want to help. How? You're spent up. You're pouring your heart out about Carly to any poor sap who'll listen. I really like her. Well, then stop whining about here and go and tell her. I'm not even sure if she still wants me. Well, she won't if you keep acting like a wuss. Anyone worth having needs fighting for, Marlon. If anyone knows that, it's me. Please, just go. You sure you're going to be all right here on your top? Yeah, I know these streets. I'll be fine. Ah, just the person. Um. <clears throat> Now, I want you to be mature about this. I'm always mature. 
unlike Tracy. There you go, see, that's a problem right yeah, there. I know, she's the problem. No, not her, you. I'm not the one who's sloping off behind your back. What? David, I'm sorry, I didn't want to have to tell you this, but Vanessa... <laughs> over her Tracy talking in the cafe. And since when's it been a crime to talk? One minute she's humming and ahhing over muffins, next minute she gets a phone call off some guy called Alex and she legs it out the door. Who's Alex? Exactly. If she's not cheating on you, why is she rushing off to meet a secret lover? She's rushing off to go visit her dad, you stupid, vindictive mare. What? Her dad, who nearly died. She's worried sick about him. Hi. I wasn't sure you'd be back. How was I? Been sitting outside for the last hour. Good timing. Your father's just come round. Oh, thank God. He's still a bit out of it, but I'm sure he'll be delighted to see you. Tracy's here as well. Tracy, his lucky day. Just give the doctor a moment, then he's all yours. See you later. Thank you. Thank you. in peace. Where did you know where my cousin is? <sighs> Don't know who told you that. You did. He sent us a message. Well, at least look at it. Well? Yeah, I might have seen her around. Where? 50 quid. Information first. See her this morning as it happens, behind the bus station. Are you sure about that? I swear. Is she on her own or with a mate? What mate? Ellie. Oh, Ellie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see her over as well. Well, guess what? Ellie doesn't even exist. Stop wasting my time. You stop wasting my time. Who's this, babes? I don't know. I'm looking for Belle Dingle. Blimey, Dean. <laughs> when did they let you out? Do I know you? No, not personally. Last time I saw you, though, you were being carted off by the police. You want to get out while you can, love, because this one here, he likes bullying drug addled girls. But then, of course, you'd, you'd know all about that, wouldn't you? Excuse me. Hang on. What are you doing here? What are you? Oh, you're like some mad stalker, you. Every time I turn around, you're there. What have I ever done to you? It's what you're doing to him that I'm bothered about. It's none of your business. If you're going to argue, I'll have to ask you to leave. I'm going nowhere till I find out why this skank is here. David's taken pity on you. And look how you repay him, you sick tramp. You really need to stop calling me them things. Oh, what? David loves me and I love him. When are you going to leave us alone? When you stop trying to cop off with my dad. Be nowhere near your dad. You think I'm blind as well as stupid, dear? What? You are practically climbing into his bed. <gasps> Have you completely lost the plot? God. Let's not fall out. <gasps> You're awake? <sighs> Bet has been awake all the time. Milking it for all your worth as usual. <sighs> I've been at death's door. Yet you're still letting some cheap tart take you for a ride. Right, that's it. You've had your warning. I'm telling you now. He's only just regained consciousness. Do you want to be asked to leave? Sorry, Dad. <laughs> He's not your dad. Why else do you think I'm here? What's she on about? <sighs> Oh, it's funny you should ask that. <sighs> Tinny, meet your little sister. What? 